Hello everybody, this is our first YouTube video and I'm very excited for that. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the mod menu in Gang Beasts. First things first, you're gonna need a keyboard and a mouse. I do believe you can connect it to your Xbox or your PS4, but I'm not entirely sure, so you're just gonna have to try. Personally, I play Gang Beasts on PC, so I already have a mouse and a keyboard. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and follow to help the channel grow. Anyways, let's get to it. Here you can see all the items that you can spawn in Gang Beast. There is a small ball, a bigger ball, a cardboard box, a dumpster, and a piece of meat. Underneath each item you can see a number. That's the number you're gonna have to press on your keyboard to spawn the item. Wherever you have your mouse cursor on the screen, that's where the items will drop. And you can do all sorts of crazy stuff like building a cardboard fortress and fight your friends, or make a ball pit that you can play in. It looks sick, right? Another fun thing you can do is you can spawn in a dumpster, open it up, and play basketball with your friends. You can also play catch with the meatloaf, just throw it around, or at each other. And one thing a lot of you guys have been asking about is how to fly. You do so by pressing 2 on the keyboard. The effect is the same as on the map vents. You know, when the vents blow you up in the air, yeah. By pressing 1, it will do the opposite, it will drag you down. Here you can see a clip where I'm just spamming two, which makes you fly, and spawning in items. They also get dragged along. Sometimes you can fly pretty far distances, as you can see right here. We're just flying through the city. Last but not least, you can spawn confetti by pressing 9 on your keyboard. You know, the confetti that appears when you win a game? Yeah, you can spawn a lot of it. Keep in mind that you do need to be the host in a local game to use the mob menu. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and if you have any ideas what we should do in the next video, leave a comment down below.